Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the third part of studying with Fusion uh, 360. Um, um, now I just wanted to show you uh, just a quick tip. Um, if you, for example, imported a, um, for example, a part um, and you've got to see this kind of shape, yes? And you have this, um, I don't know, you don't like this fillet. You want to create something, uh, something else. Uh, it's too big and when you're importing something you cannot really um, you don't need really importing the history how it, it, it was made so um, all you gotta do basically is just you know select the, the face that you don't want and hit the delete okay it's very very simple and fusion is doing the rest so um, this is just a uh, quick tip and um, another thing is um, another tip I want to show you is um, if we if I create for example a, let's just say I'm creating I'm gonna create a sphere you're gonna have some kind of um, circle object and now I'm going to create a um, let's just turn on the origin here not this one I want it this one uh, let's see I wanted to cut it somewhere here good so now I'm gonna go to the sketch here now we can go and slice this one as you can see I slice all everything in this position and let's just say I want to um, I want to project this line here instead of to sketch it and um, what you what you should do is go to the project and choose intersect okay because this is exactly what it's going to do it's gonna project the intersection point don't use the normal projection because normal projection is gonna project everything and this is the only thing that we want is just this piece here okay so remember the intersection it's a it's a really good uh, tool you're gonna probably gonna use it quite uh, quite a lot and um, and then that's it as you can see here okay so this is just a, um, a little tip and just remember also when you're importing um, components automatically uh, or models automatically uh, actually no when you're importing into a new design the models and um, the, the environment that you're going to be it's going to be direct modeling you're not going to have the history based uh, line um, history uh, based uh, modeling so just also note that that you need to go up to here and then change it to a history based um, design um, so you remember that okay uh, what else yes so the next thing I want to show you it's um, different really good resources which I'm going to link uh, I'm gonna put them in the comments and the description I'm gonna sh uh, show and uh, link this uh, put the link to the uh, fusion 360 rule number one and two and another one uh, site it's really good it's the, the learning site here you're gonna have a lot of resources a lot of information here with videos and this is uh, when you're creating um, you want to create a post you have a question you need help so it's really good uh, to describe everything in a screencast and how you do it just watch this video and gonna show you everything next it's a uh, link here is to uh, the Academy also this Academy here we're gonna have different kind of models uh, with everything that you need they're gonna show you they're gonna give you the, 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 the basic uh, tools uh, files and they're gonna show you how to model um, various designs here it's not all of them but there are many I know there is also a, a really nice helmet for example the, the they, they showing you exactly what to do and you can do it at the same time okay and there is also a, um, a handout uh, from the Autodesk University from the last convention uh, in Las Vegas. It's a, it's a really nice one. 
and uh, it's from uh, Peter Doring and uh, Jeff Stider. Stider. And uh, these two, you're gonna see them a lot in the, in, in the Fusion uh, Forum. So they created these handouts with a lot of good tips and tricks. And uh, so check it out. And another one, this is from also Autodesk University. And here you can see all the videos uh, the con uh, from the conference. Um, there is a lot of really, really good videos here. So go in, take your time, you know, lie down on the sofa and watch them. You can learn really, really a lot uh, about almost, almost anything in the modeling world. It's really, really great. So, and basically this is also how I started. I, I watched a lot of these with videos. It helps a lot. So I'm gonna put all those links in the comments. Uh, so don't worry. And, um, Last, I wanted to show you, it's the, uh, the project that I talked about before and uh, it's the project where I creating models without sketches and it also includes no uh, splines and no patching, okay? So this is uh, the first one, actually this is the last thing that I've made, it was yesterday and uh, it's, it's just a cabin, you know, an old fashioned cabin with all the different, uh, you know, the drawers. I didn't do the, um, I, the, um, the joints yet, but you have all the pieces here. So uh, if I'm gonna play it, for example, um, so you can see a really nice uh, time lapse uh, how it's been made. As you can see, it's very simple, no sketches, nothing. Very, very easy, very simple. So, <clears throat> and if you want these models, you wanna play with them, um, or maybe if you wanna make them even better, um, I'm gonna also add a link to the post, so you can see it over there, uh, all the different uh, models. Um, I don't remember if I actually created an animation to this one. No, I didn't. Okay. And there is another cabinet. This is also a retro one, which I've created. The same, also no sketches at all. And this one actually, I have an animation, I think. I don't know how good it is, but let's see. And here basically everything actually works also, yeah. Also joint and every, uh, joint everything. And the next one, it's this one. It's actually also, this is the first project that I worked on. And yeah, I don't know, it took me about all in all, maybe a few hours, two hours maybe. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you can create almost anything and you can also see the details. It's really nice. Again, without, not a single sketch on this one. Okay, so uh, let's play this one. Okay, and it's done. So as you can see, it's it's very simple. So um, you know, uh, use these uh, options that you have here in Fusion. Again, Fusion is extremely, extremely powerful. It's a tool and give you so many tools here. If you you just need to get to know them, work with them, test them, and the only limit is your own imagination. Really, how to work with them, how to combine them to get, together and really get the best out of them so you can really do a lot 
uh, and it's really fun to work with. So, uh, and you can also create them really uh, high precision as well. So um, yeah, so it's basically, it's up to you. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoy uh, all these few videos and, um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. If not, then just go into the, also to the Fusion Forum and ask questions, anything you need. There's a lot of amazing guys over there who will do everything they can to help you. So don't be shy and don't forget also, don't write too much. It's better for us if you just show us what you need and also attach the file if you can, okay? Uh, it will be much easier and faster for us to help you. So uh, have fun with Fusion and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next uh, videos. Bye-bye.